All right, everybody, this is it. I am going to try and make an instructional video showing how to integrate my open math into ultra actually not this course let's pick the right course let's integrate it into this course here okay so i've done this once before it's gonna be my second time doing it we'll see uh if any problems arise so um the first thing you want to do is set everything up in ultra the way you want it missing your my open math assignments so all of my content is here my content is visible um, my non my open math content is here um, my release conditions are set correctly so I have everything set so that they have to complete the course entry complete the course entry assignment before they can see everything else um, all right, so I've done as much in Ultra as I can without importing my open math. Similarly, over in my open math, I have set up all the assignments and I have set the due dates and I have double and triple checked the due dates. I really think that they are all correct. All right, next thing is to go copy from. Nope, not that, sorry. Go to export, ex export, export, <laughs> go to Blackboard, and then click download cartridge. All right, so the cartridge just downloaded. Then we go over to Ultra, we click on the three dots, we import content, import course content, we go to downloads, and we import that thing says it's importing it does take a minute so we're just going to wait patiently all right that ding probably means it's done let's see all right yep here it is down here All right, here are all those assignments that were in my open math right here. Now they've been pulled for here. All right, let's see if it works. Um, we want to uh, associate with the existing course. So we only have to do this part once. All right, that looks good. Uh, let's close that. Let's now go to student preview. Let's actually check all of this is visible to students. We got the open eyeball. Let's go to student preview. And now because I have course conditions, a lot of this stuff's not visible right now or students can't access it. But this was just visible. So let's click on something launch it yay it all seems to be working okay great let's exit that all right this is going smoothly um let's go over to grade book actually let me take this off screen and make sure i'm not about to show student data yep yeah, okay so i don't want to click on students in this video because it will actually list my students to you but um this class currently has 11 students so you can see here all of the assignments you'll now want to um, reorder the grade book correctly this one's a hot mess so that will take a little while to do and then you also want to move the content to the correct module so there are two homework assignments for mod one. I'll need to come up here. and move it to the correct place. But that's the basic idea. I also like to check 
the calendar and yep make sure that stuff is appearing where I think it should appear all right yep all of this looks good I wish it would show the full month at once you got to scroll here I wish there was less dead space here but yep that's the way I want the due dates to fall looks good to me all right so that's the idea